Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a doodle crate and I'm excited to open this crate and see what craft we get to do this month or at least my daughter gets to do this month. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. Okay, so this month, we are doing macrame gear. So that just sounds really fun. I enjoy this kind of craft, so hopefully my daughter does too. I think she's done something sort of like this before, so we'll see how it goes. It says, learn the art of cord knotting to create a custom watch and a keychain. So that's gonna be cool. So when we open it up, this is what we have inside. And then our instructions here. This is the only crate that doesn't come with like a magazine booklet. I don't know why exactly, but it doesn't. So a keychain right here, it looks like, and then the bracelet, bracelet, the watch is over there. And so we have all of our instructions in here. This must be helping us put something together. Huh, that's cool. So we'll get to see what that is. And then teaching us some different knots that we can do. And so in here we have a needle right here, just one of their plastic ones, and then a carabiner and a key ring. And then this says, watch parts maybe it fell off <laughs> i'm like there's nothing there okay so this must be what it means i bet this was stuck right here i was like it's empty so here is the different watch parts for that and then we have a little measuring just a paper like a thick paper measuring ruler type thing right here and some glue i think that's what this is and then we have some other like foam pieces. I'm not exactly sure what these are for. And then this is what I saw in that booklet that they get to make. So I don't know if this is the device to help them make the bracelet. So that'll be interesting to figure out. And then we have some different cord. So we have a green one, blue one, yellow and purple. So this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think that's all that's in here. And so I'm excited to let her try this because like I said, I really enjoy these types of crafts and I enjoyed them when I was younger as well. So it'll be fun to see if she likes them also. <laughs> so I'm gonna let her get at it and we will let you know how it goes. finished doing the doodle crate and did you like it okay. yeah it was a lot of fun so she's gonna show you the things that she made and then we'll talk some more about it so she has a little keychain so she got to macrame it so it has this keychain loop on this side and then it has the carabiner on the other side and then she made a watch so that was a lot of fun as well and we can put it on her wrist it's a little bit big for her we did measure but We'll talk about that in a minute. So it just clips on and then she has this cool little watch right here. <laughs> she can just save it for when she's an adult. <laughs> just kidding. So for the watch, it does give this measuring tape for you to measure around her wrist. And it says not to pull it too tight. So we didn't pull it very tight. Like we pulled it tight, but not super tight on her wrist. And then you add an inch when you're making it, like each side of the bracelet and stuff. It has you add an inch to the total when you're doing it. And then you use this cool thing that she made and was put, was able to put together. And then you can put it out where you need it to be. So it has like four inches, five inches. And so we did all of that, but then it still ended up being a little bit big. So I feel like you probably want it slightly, not tight on your wrist, but fairly snug to your wrist, maybe just a little bit of wiggle room because with us, you know, them saying not to do it very tight ended up 
making it really, really large on her wrist. So she's like pulling it like this. <laughs> so I guess if you do this and put a rubber band around it or something, then it's the right size. Anyway, so it's a little bit big, but that's okay. So like I said, she got to make this cool thing and put it together, which was fairly simple, right? I feel like it was pretty easy to put together. And this is the tool that they use to do the macrame. I used to do macrame all the time as a child, but I never had this cool tool to do it with. And so you can put the little, uh, I don't know what this is even called, key ring, I guess, carabiner and stuff. They go on this side and they help so you're not pulling, constantly pulling the string off. So I feel like the layout of it was really nice and made it easy for kids to do this because I know when I did it as a child, the tape would always come loose. And so then you were just constantly pulling your project out and you had to retape it. And then you're putting down like all the tape to try to get it to hold still. So I thought this was a fun little device and it does have centimeters on this side as well. If you are use centimeters, if you're not in the United States. And then she had a couple strings left over. I think all the, so this bracelet required four strings uh, because you're doing each side of the watch. And then the keychain required two strings. And so then we have two of those color strings left over. So if we had a keychain thing like this, we could make another one or you could probably make it without that as well. And then something when you do the end, it does have you glue it and it comes with glue, like white glue. But I also wanted something that was gonna dry a little faster. So I used some super glue. So we super glued the ends of it. And I felt like that helped. It feels really sturdy and like it's not gonna go anywhere. And was there anything else? What was your favorite part, do you think? Um, getting to make the watch. Getting to make the watch. And I'm sorry that it's too big for you. It's fine. You can just put a rubber band on it. It's fine. See? It's fine. Or she can wear it as an ankle watch. <laughs> just put it on your ankle. And then your foot will keep it from falling off. <laughs> there you go. If you want to tell time, you just pull your foot up and look at it. <laughs> and what do you think was the hardest part? Um. String to make sure it was nice and tight. Yeah, so this string doesn't get super tight easily. I've used the, I can't even think what it's called, the really fine uh, brown cording that you use for crafting and stuff. So I've used that before. Sorry, <laughs> she's pushing the camera. My, the table is pulled out from the wall and so all my kids keep pushing the table and then it pushes the camera out of the way. So anyways, this cording was a little bit harder to get tight compared to some of the other ones I've used. And so it has this looser look, which is nice, but it's also comes unraveled a little bit easier as she's doing the project. So that was a little hard, <laughs> but then, um, she just did one stitch. It gives you two options in here. Let me see. So it has the square knot stitch, which we didn't do. She has done a square knot stitch before and she can do it, but with this, she didn't want to, she didn't want to do it. And then it also gives you the half hitch knots. And so that's what she did with both of these was the half hitch. And so it gives you a couple different stitches you can do if you want to try those out. And then again, you can do this on tons of other like thread, not necessarily thread. I don't know what it's called. Sorry. It's been a long time since I've actually done these, but you can use a lot of other different mediums, we'll call them, to make these different kinds of bracelets or keychains. I used to always make bracelets out of them. So I just thought it was a fun craft to do and something that you can keep doing fairly easily. Whereas some crafts, if you don't have the right supplies, it's really hard to get them and to get the correct amounts of them. But this one I feel like is one that you could easily keep doing and have a lot of fun doing it. So, huh, we had a fun time. Yep. <laughs> and so if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye. -bye.